Welcome into Duval Daily, presented by GenJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thank you so much for tuning in here on Monday, November 13th. Yes, we're still here. The sky has not fallen. The Jaguars, they did just get wrecked by a very good team. It was a horrible, no good, ugly, stinking performance from top to bottom against a Super Bowl contender. They got hot. They played complimentary football. Two of their best players back in the lineup on offense, bringing in Chase Young to that defense. It was ugly. So what now what if you're the Jaguars, as Doug Peterson would say? The Jags, they're still 6-3. and They're still atop the AFC South right now. They're still close to the top of the AFC. So what now what? This has been a team that under Doug Peterson has been nothing if not resilient. Embarrassed by the Texans in week three, what did they do? Five straight wins. You look back at 2022 when they had a game like this, embarrassed by the Lions on the road. What did they do? Five straight wins. It's so what, now what for your Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, if you're this football team, you got to go in and watch the tape today. Throw it out. Watch it. Learn from it. Throw it out. Go back to the drawing board and get ready for two straight divisional games, two really big games. If you're these Jacksonville Jaguars, who again are still atop the division at six and three, Look, though, this is still a damn good defense for the Jaguars. This is still a very talented offense that even on a day like yesterday showed signs of life throughout the game. And if a couple balls go their way, you're looking at a different type of ball game. They just could not keep it together. They kept having some unforced errors. Couldn't get out of their own way. You know, when they would get something rolling, something bad would happen. It was just one of those days. And you've seen that from this football team a few times. But it's time to prepare for a dogfight against the Titans. There's no doubt about that. You win that game, you're 7-3. and And you're a better team than Tennessee. One thing Doug Peterson coach teams have mostly done is beaten teams that they are better than, you know, especially over the last calendar year or so. You win that game, hell yeah. Doesn't matter a whole lot because you travel to Houston after that, and unless the Texans lose to the Cardinals this week, It will be a game that will be for the AFC South division lead. Texans are sitting at, you know, five and four right now. If they get to six and four and the Jaguars are seven and three or six and four themselves, regardless, that game is going to be for the division lead. The Texans, they're hot. They're not a perfect team, but right now they might just be so young that they don't know what they don't know, right? And I do think that they will be able to handle business against the Cardinals, but we've seen them lose to teams that are in the Cardinals range, you know, the Panthers, the Falcons. But they're hot right now, no doubt about it. They just beat the Bengals. They beat the Buccaneers a week before. The Texans are a dangerous team, a dangerous, well-coached young football team with a very good quarterback. So again, unless the Texans lose to the Cardinals this week, which the Cardinals did just beat the Falcons, Kyler Murray's back. We'll see how that that game plays out. That game will be for the division lead. Now, it won't be for the division lead if the Texans lose to the Cardinals and the Jaguars handle their business against the Titans. But I fully expect the Texans to beat the Cardinals, and I expect that matchup against the Texans in a couple weeks to be for the division lead. But even if you're not in first place in the division, everything is still on the table for you in the AFC playoff picture. It's wide open. But if you want to say, hey, this division is still ours, the AFC South runs through the Jacksonville Jaguars, you have got to beat the Texans. Cannot get swept by a team in your division. Can't do it. Cannot do it. And the Texans, they will come out swinging. They will come out punching. They're a good young football team. Again, very well coached on both sides of the ball. Now, While I feel like everything is still on the table for the Jaguars, both within the division and the AFC playoff picture, and they are still a good, talented, well-coached football team, to me right now, they are not a Super Bowl contender. Could they become one throughout the remainder of this season and getting into the playoffs? Sure, they absolutely could. But they aren't yet. Why? They have not shown that they can beat elite teams. The Chiefs are 3-0 against them over the last two seasons. 49ers? Just wrecked them. Eagles last year, it was an ugly game in monsoon-type weather, but they got the best of the Jaguars pretty handily by the end of that game. The Jaguars have not been able to beat elite teams. They've been able to beat good teams, 
I mean, just look at this year. The Bills and the Steelers, those are good teams. Not great teams. Playoff teams, but not great teams. So for me, they're a playoff contender and a team that can win games in the playoffs, like you saw last year. But right now, they are not a team that can beat the very best. Again, can you become that? Sure. You can become that, but you're not there yet. You haven't proven that you're there, and you've had opportunities throughout the last two regular seasons and in the playoffs last year to prove that you're there, but you're not there yet. You have not proven that you can beat the best of the best. Can you hang with them? Sure. The Jaguars have shown they can hang with the Chiefs. They haven't shown they can beat them. They beat the Ravens last year, obviously. They're going to have a chance to do that again. But look, beyond the Titans and Texans, their next two matchups, they have some some tough roads ahead. Bengals on Monday Night Football, Ravens at home, Browns on the road. Those are tough games. But right now, none of those teams are in the elite category, right? The Bengals just lost to the Texans. Absolutely one of the most dangerous teams in football the Bengals are, but they are not unbeatable. The Ravens, they just lost to the Browns. We've seen throughout this season, you know, they've lost three games. As good as they have looked in certain contests, the Ravens, I don't think that they're in the same category as the 49ers. I don't think they're in the same category as the Chiefs right now. Browns, certainly not. Obviously, they can be tough. It's on the road. Great defense, offense that looks like it's coming together a little bit. But the Jaguars are a tough team. They are a resilient team. And I think the way they respond to this loss will impress fans. But they got to go do it. There's no doubt about that. Really appreciate y'all tuning in. Hit me up on Twitter, at Jordan DeLugo. Follow Generation Jaguar at Generation Jag. Hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube if you enjoy the content. You can also hit the notification bell so you don't miss a show. Of course, check out genjag.com slash shop. Pick up some new Duval gear. Y'all have a good one.